Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So my name is Sandra Pastina and uh, over here in this channel we talk all about sewing. So today I'm super excited because if you can see at the back I've got new sewing machines here and I'm so excited to try them and I want to show you them as well. But before I go ahead to open them, <laughs> I'm gonna need to find a space to actually put them in my sewing studio. So um, over here behind me, you will see three machines. So this is the Singer Stylist, what is this, 9100. And this is the, I'm gonna pronounce this so wrongly, Husqvarna uh, Viking Husky Lock S25, am I right? Yes, Husky Lock S25. And I'm so excited to finally try them. So it just got here just now. Okay, one of this is actually for one of my clients. But these two babies are going to stay here in my sewing studio. And I'm so super duper excited. So, And I can't wait to actually try it and show you guys and do a little review on these two sewing machines. Because I think it's going to be awesome. And um, yeah, but let's just go ahead. I need to... Um, rearrange the whole entire studio so that it actually fits in and like hopefully i can find space to fit the both of them so let's see how it goes let's try <laughs> okay but i'm so excited so let me just do a zoom in for these two babies first when they're still in their boxes all right come on okay so this is the Singer Stylist 9100. Oh my god, doesn't it look so cute? It actually comes with the table extender already, which is what I really love because the brother one that I have over there, I actually have to pay extra for the table extender, but this already comes with it. So I love it. And then this is the Husqvarna Viking Husky Lock S25. So this is a five thread. Um, serge uh, and cover stitch machine which I'm really really excited to try I didn't quite see a lot of reviews going on so I'm really excited to try because I heard that the machines for I mean the the what do you call it the, the engines for these two machines are pretty amazing especially the Hasvana one so I really really want to try oh my god it looks so freaking amazing now, I haven't actually opened it so I'm so excited let's go ahead to open this for do that, stay hydrated guys. I'm drinking soya bean milk. And for those of you who are not from Singapore, this is a very, very Asian drink. So, cheers! Mm. Yummy! Okay, so I'm going to start off with opening this one over here first, Singer 9100. Um, disclaimer, I did actually already try it um, when I was over at the warehouse, but I'm excited to have it in the studio because I can have all of my accessories, sewing accessories and stuff like that. So that's why I'm super excited to open this and use the table extender because I didn't use it the last time. So let's go ahead. Okay. Turn it around. So the front of the box actually looks like that. It's really nice. And the sides here, it, goes, it shows you all the stitches, the basic stitches, the decorative stitches, which most of them are stretched, which is amazing. And um, oh nice, this has a fully automatic one-step buttonhole. So that's helpful if you're doing buttonholes. But, you know, for dance wear, for active wear and stuff like that, we don't really do buttonholes. But so anyway, it's a nice to have. It's a good to have. And then basic stitches looks pretty amazing. And yeah. Okay, let's see over here. Oh, okay. So it has a start-stop button. Did I try that the last time? I might have. It has 210 built-in stitches. It has speed control. It has programmable needle up and down. Oh, I'm going to have to play with that. And um, it has automatic optimal stitch length and width. So you can adjust the stitch length and width, which is pretty, pretty similar to the Brother A150 that I already have. And... Okay, it has twin needle mode. That's very helpful. So for those of you who want to do stretch and you know, you want to use the twin needle, that's also very, very good. Nine fully automatic one-step buttonholes, useful. And the bonus extension table inside. So this extension table is really helpful. So I really love this. Okay, so it has automatic needle threader, which is great. So 
pretty similar to the sing singer um, heavy duty that I already have. So yeah, let's go ahead to open this baby up. So just gonna open this. So many machines, so exciting. So it comes with the instruction manual, of course. This I always take time to read because I've learned my lesson and sometimes I take it for granted and yeah, I'm definitely going to go through the instruction manual later. And okay, I need to take this out. This is, this is going to be something. You know, you know what? I'm going to do this on the floor. It's hard. It's hard to do it here. Okay. And then, ah, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well done. Whoa. That was a lot going on. <laughs> Get someone to help you guys. Get someone to help you. Okay. So we have the oh. that was a little bit hectic, okay. So we have the 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 pedal here. And it comes with the and the plug. It comes with a sewing machine cover. This is very helpful, so I don't have to sew my own. Yes, so that's helpful. And um, it looks better quality than the other ones that we have. So that's great. Let's open this baby up. Oh, wait. Dun, dun, dun. Can you see that? That is the extension table. Wow. Nice. It has a nice curve to it. Very helpful. Very nice. I'm loving it. It's a little bit smaller than the Brother A150 extension table, but I'm not complaining. I didn't pay for it. It comes with it, so I'm happy with this. Alright, now for the real deal. Ugh, the sound. Ah! Ah! And now I'm gonna hold the machine to ah! mm. I don't know about you guys, but I hate the styrofoam sound. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, look at this beauty. So let me show you one of the features that I really, really, really love, which is let me show you, let me show you. Done! Oh my gosh, isn't this so cute? Right? It shows you all the stitches over here. It's so well kept and stuff like that. I'll show you why I love this. Um, because the Brother A150 has um has a something similar as well as a little card that shows you everything. But it's actually right up here, so it's really hard to cover it because you always have to take it off and on, off and on. Blah, blah. So it's a lot of work there. So this I thought was really smart, so everyone can always refer to it very well. So the only thing is when cleaning the machine, just need to you know clean a little bit of this but i'm happy that that looks very very cute i'm so excited it looks really good um there's some machines that look very off-white but this doesn't this is actually a nice pure white like a cool white so not that cool actually a little bit like cool warm warm cool but you know i'm happy with it so gonna read the manual this is going to be one of the things that I would definitely do. So let's go ahead to open up the Viking S25 Husky Lock. So thank you, babe. See you later. So excited. So excited. Okay. Let's move on to that baby over there. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, let's look at the box first. I am loving colors here oh my god so cute um the box is actually pretty simple it's not as fanciful as the singer ones usually that's how viking is they're not as you know fanciful and stuff like that so yes so over here it says designed in sweden and it has a little girl running in the fields are those sunflowers chrysanthemum i don't know if you're from sweden please tell me what it is <laughs> obviously haven't been there so on this side it just says husky lock s25 and all the numbers and stuff 
So same thing on this side. Oh, uh, okay. Same thing on this side. Nothing much. Okay, I have like a big husky lot work over word over here. So I'm really excited to actually try this baby. Um, because of its five thread feature, so I'm super excited with that. So okay, let's go ahead to open this. Dun 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 dun. Woohoo! Oh, oh wait, that's a kind of come with an extension table too. I don't know. <laughs> What? This is what we're going to have. Open it. Oh wow. I'm so excited. Look at the five threads. I'm so freaking excited. Oh yes. Oh, it comes with a nice DVD as well. This is the first time of all the machines that I've bought. I've got so many machines that we've actually got a DVD. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if my CD player works this track. Can I remove this? No. Okay, I can remove that. Okay, so this is probably the bag that catches all of the uh, cutaway fabric and stuff like that. This is a feature that a lot of the industrial machines have. So I'm very happy that this has it because this is really helpful. It catches everything here so it doesn't just fall everywhere and make a mess. So, ooh, nice. Always wanted one. Okay, so, um, let's see. It has these over here. I have no idea what these are for. Yeah, I really don't. Okay, I'll figure it out. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Woo. This is the five thread spool holder. Love it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to fix all these up. And um, yeah, these are for the threads. These are the thread holders. So that's great. Okay, you guys come up here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, whoa! <gasps> what? This is the pedal? What? Oh my gosh! Love this! This is huge! This is the biggest one I've ever seen in my life! My gosh! Look at that! Step on it! How big is it? I put two of my feet here. Oh, wow! Okay, so this is just the plug. What's this? This is... Whoa. Oh, nice. Okay, so these are all of the different... Oh, nice. This is actually to hold the um, thread, I believe. The thread spools, I believe. So all of the stuff right here. Okay. What am I missing? I believe this is the cover. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't take this out. What the... I thought I couldn't. Okay. One moment. Oh my god, look at that branding there. Looks so good. Still, let's finish this first. So I've still got some parts over here not taken out. I've got this. Um, honestly, I have no idea what, what this is. I'll figure out. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this out. Yeah! Woo! Nice. Okay, I believe this is the cover. So this is the S25 Husky Lock cover. So. I'll open it later, and then am I missing anything? Um, nope. Okay, I'm gonna put this away first. Oh, hoo -hoo. <gasps> guys, look at this! Oh my god, it looks so freaking good! I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it around. Whoa! What? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put it down the floor and then bring it up on the table. So, yeah. Okay, let me just do that. Okay. Checking that I don't lose anything because I have lost things before. <laughs> so I always open everything in my sewing machine boxes to make sure there's no like extra accessories and stuff like that that I completely missed. So yes. This is what I'm doing. Very nice. Very, very nice. And um okay. That's what's this? What's this? 
Oh wow! Oh wow! Is that another table plate? Oh wow! Oh my! Look! Do you see that? <gasps> I'm so freaking excited! Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just put all the styrofoam stuff there. Right? Then we can slowly play with it. Okay, I'm so excited. So, this is the whole baby right here. I have no idea how to use this, but I will definitely figure it out. But, the one thing I can say, just purely based on um, feeling it, you know, on, on how it's made and stuff, it actually feels really sturdy. Like, I don't know how to tell you this, but when I touch different sewing machines, some sewing machines, like especially when the cheaper ones, the plastics usually are... Like, it doesn't feel so solid, you know? You, you know what I mean? So, this feels great and it's heavy and um, I have no idea what this does. But I'm gonna figure out, oh my god, I'm so excited. I just realized it is comp completely digital. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Just look at all the needles and stuff like that. So there's three needles on the top from what I see here. So two would be the under under threads for the loopers and stuff. So that would be really cool. Then like, oh my gosh, okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so all the accessories wise, it comes with that. No idea what that is. I'm going to figure it out. And then there are all of these accessories here that I just took out from the box as well. So, that side, the singer stylist, this side, the husky lock. I'm so excited. So, alright. Let's do this. I wonder if I should split this video into two videos or one video. I don't know. So, I just want to say if this is your first time with us here. I, wanna, I keep saying us, but if it's your first time with me here in a sewing studio, welcome to my sewing studio. So I've got third spools here. This is the working table and all the rest of the machines, which um, I need to get more tables. So yeah, that's another trip to Ikea, but okay. Let's settle these two babies down first so that I can start like playing with them. I'm so excited. So yeah, let me show you around and um, I'm going to start to rearrange all the machines okay hi babies i'm so excited hi okay so all my thread spools over here so my machines are all over here so um maybe i'll just do a run through so i've got my single heavy duty this is the 4423 i believe yep there's a 4423 and then i have the baby lock and lighten this is like one of my favorites but you know even the plastic for this is a lot lighter and not as thick as the husky husky lock s25 so that's what i was trying to say but this is like this is like oh my god i love this machine you know i love it it's four thread and this is the brother a150 brother Inovis a150 so this is the one that i said that i actually paid extra for an extension table it has a really nice cover though um I would say that the the engine's not as strong as the singer one, so yeah, that's that. But it actually looks aesthetically really good as well. And then I do have the Janome cover stitch. So yep. Yeah. Um I don't this is the Cover Pro 2000 CPX. So I don't really use this that much as before, but yes, still here. And of course I have my other serger. So this is the singer serger. I cannot remember for the life of me like what I don't know what model this is. I can't remember. I'll figure it out. So this is a four third, third serger as well. So this was one of my first sergers actually. I love it. Um although I'm really excited to try the new singer heavy duty serger that has come out recently. So I do want to try that because this is this is a good one to start with but i think um if you're really investing in long term i do want to try the singer serger the heavy duty one so yes this is my baby it's been around for a really long time with me so yeah these are all my machines okay that's my dance studio but that's for another time so yes 
Okay, let's um, let's start rearranging, I guess. Oh yeah, before I say anything, I'm actually going to add one more table over there right next to the hamster cage. <laughs> right next to the singer um, Sajra at the end. So I'm going to add one more table there, but I do need to take a trip to Ikea so that I can have one more table over there. So yeah, I'm still contemplating where I should, you know, turn the table to the side. But it's going to take a lot of space, so I don't think so. Okay, screw that. So I'm just going to kind of play around and shift the machines a bit. I'm going to move the cover stitch away. I'm going to move the singer surgery away so I make space for these two babies. And then, yeah, let's see how it goes after that. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, so I've just cleared those two tables. I'm going to start shifting the two new babies over there into the new home. So let's do this. Um, hmm, which one goes where? Let me see. I'm thinking. What am I thinking? I'm going to leave my heavy duty here. Um, oh, darn, this is hard. I'm going to leave the heavy duty here. I'm thinking if I should move. My baby log. You know what? I'm not gonna move the baby log. And then I'm gonna do the the husky log over here, and then I'm gonna move the thing over there. Okay, yeah. Let me do that. Okay, so I've just set up the Husky Log S25, the Viking Husqvarna Viking Husky Log S25, very clearly stated here. And um, I haven't figured out quite out all the accessories and stuff, but they're all here. I'm gonna figure that out later. Um, I'll do another video for that for first impressions and the whole setup process but I'm going to do some of my homework first and I'm going to do some research first before I just go ahead and do that. I'm going to read out the entire manual because that to me is one way to really absorb all of that knowledge um, just to make sure that I get it right and yeah I'm going to start setting up so this is how it looks like um, I'll just show you how to when I turn it on how it looks like Ooh. okay so on the digital screen, it says, please raise the presser foot to calibrate. Um, yeah, so I guess I do have to raise up the presser foot, but I'm not going to do anything first. I'm just going to leave it as it is and play with it again. So yeah, okay, I'm going to remove this screen cover so that I can see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. All right, I'm so excited to figure out all the different accessories. But okay, let's go check out the singer stylist. 9100 so let's go over okay so here i have the singer stylist um 9100 all set up um so on first glance it actually looks really good um i'm not gonna set up the extension table and everything yet because that would the usually the accessories are the last things that i'll, I'll put up especially like extension tables because 
those are easy so i'm gonna play around figure out you know just you know use what it has first but you know first impressions i think it has a little curve right here so that's a little bit interesting because the so far all the rest of my sewing machines are all flat so this is a little bit of a curve hmm interesting i'll figure out like it would does this curve actually make a difference or anything especially when we're sewing stretch fabrics and stuff like that so i'll figure it out and then yeah i think it looks good digital screen looks good you know it looks simple clean and very functional it has very very a lot of um the smart buttons very similar to the brother inovis a150 so quite excited to do a little bit of a comparison so let's turn this baby on you see i'm just feeling the sides because you know i've been working with so many machines i'm like yeah mm, looks good look at how good the screen looks wow nice so i see the twin needle um icon over here so that's probably when you use twin needle so so far i haven't been a huge fan of twin needles but I'm gonna try it. I still have my twin needles, you know, st stacked up somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna try it again. Give it a go with this machine and see how it goes. So yeah. All right, looks good. All right. Okay, let's remove this. Okay. So I hope you really enjoyed the unboxing of these two sewing machines over here. And as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments below or you know, just let me know any questions that you have. But if you found it useful or if you've liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? So this is Mercy over here. I just adopted him. So I'm a huge advocate of adopt, don't shop. So yes, Mercy is our studio hamster. <laughs> so he's a big part right now. I've just managed to tame him. So the taming process is another thing, but you know, it's always nice to have pets while you sew. So yes. So if you have any questions about the individual machines and stuff like that, feel free to let me know. Um, I will do a review, um, a review slash first impressions video of these two machines individually. But if there are any machines that I have that you want me to do a review of, feel free to let me know as well. And I'll be more than happy to do a video for you. Alright, so till next time, take care, stay safe. and. As Mercy is, they so cute and definitely see you very soon. Bye! Oops, scared him there. Bye! Mercy say bye!